What's going on, Chill with Dance Squad? It's your boy Ant Beckway, guys, with another video. So, we got to talk about the events that took place on Smack SmackDown tonight. This was a really, really dope, dope show. And to the the ending of it, oh my God, it was such a great, great masterpiece. The people in Utah, this was a really dope, dope show. Ending it off for next next week for the Go Home Show for SmackDown. Really looking forward to it. But this SmackDown. Yo, this was a really good one. So, enough with, with it. Let's get down to the nitty nitty gritty. So we so the shirts the show starts off uh, with Roman Roman coming coming in. This was earlier before the show happened. That he comes out out of the truck, uh, saying praise, saying hello to Paul, and most likely giving a hug to uh, to Jimmy. And most likely, if you see Jimmy's face, he looks confused of how Roman is a. Uh, how Roman is being all happy and stuff because after we haven't seen Roman in a while since the press conference altercation and Roman heads into the ring. Uh, he, he does his usual, what usual stuff, uh, acknowledge me, all that type of stuff. And <clears throat> most likely saying that tonight was that tonight is a big night for, for the blood bloodline that the rock was going to be a member and man, oh man, this this promo segment to close the show. Oh my God, it was literally in for you saying. Oh, and also before we even get to that, we just found out that Bron Bron Breaker is the newest uh newest member of the SmackDown SmackDown brand because even though he won the NXT Tag Team Championship with Baron Corbin this past Tuesday, but. Now that he's part of SmackDown, he's gonna have to uh, relinquish the NXT Tag Tag Team Championship. So, congrats to Braun Bre Breaker for that. But Roman w really annou announced that The Rock is fully a member of the Bloodline. And as soon as The Rock's music hit, there were some people that did come come out. And the way how The Rock came out, oh my God, The Rock came out wearing had the Versace on, all that type of stuff, and me seeing that, this is giving me the Attitude Era vibes that this man brought out the Hollywood heel rock, because if you guys know, the rock, when he was in Hollywood, he was a heel, oh my god, bro, he was a completely and utter men menace, man, but the fact this promo here yo this man the rock was cooking and especially how he was talking about other sports and how the bloodline was going to be the most dominant fact faction now that that the rock is a part of it and i loved how he was mentioning some of the uh the football teams like the niners lost to the Chiefs, how they does lost, and most likely bringing out michael jordan and the utah jazz which really really set upset the crowd crowd at salt lake city but he really he was really like in his bag and how he uh, was talking about how they had the the main event match that it was going to happen with the rock and Roman and that they almost had it. And next thing you know, they, they dropped the ball and triple H made it really perfectly clear last week of the fact that that match was not going to happen. And that he's going, that it's going to be Roman versus Cody for the championship to run it back from last year's WrestleMania. And I love how the rock mentioned uh, how Roman beat Cody last year at WrestleMania, when the fact of the matter is Solo is the reason that helped him retain so he could hit a thousand days to begin with, but that's the here near there. But the way how he was doing this was really, really good. And I like when he was doing the fine and all that type of stuff, but he did say like how he knew him he was when he was a face, but when he was a heel, the way how he said it, he was just, he was being disrespectful, bro, like, you should know, if you were born in my, my year, and you know, if you watched WWE for so long, the man, this man, The Rock, when he was Hollywood heel, oh my god, his promos were top freaking notch, yo, like this man was really going going off and all that type of stuff, but he really made it perfectly clear that Cody's story was ending and that his story with the uh, Rock and Roman was uh going going to start that they were going to be the most powerful faction in the group. When Triple H made it really clear that 
that match between The Rock and Roman ain't going to happen because Triple H the one who calls the shots, and he's full of control of WWE, thank God. But he, they won't, he really made it perfectly clear that they're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that Roman stays cha- champion. And then afterwards, they uh, I love what The Rock did here. He said, if you smell it. Like, if you smell what the rock is cooking, but he changed it. He said, if you smell what the bloodline is cooking. And this one right here was so funny to close the show. Everybody was putting up the one. But if you see the rock, the way how he put up the one, he put it up like this. Like he was putting up the L. Like, bro, when I saw that, oh, my God, that was funny as hell, bro. But overall, that was a really, really good good uh, segment to close the show but now that that the rock is part of the bloodline you know that cody cody is definitely going to need need a lot more than just seth seth help helping him now that that the rock is is on roman's side now yo they have so wwe has so many options that they can do do with this and most likely i definitely see cody Do I see Cody most likely bringing up some legends that have history with The Rock? I definitely most likely see it, but Cody is going to need a lot more more help. And now that that The Rock is with Roman and the members of the bloodline, and they're stronger than ever, and their only mission is to keep Roman as champion for however long, because we all know nobody wants that. And me personally, I don't want want that either, because I really do want Cody to finish, finish his story, but... It only makes Cody needs a lot more more help because it's just him and Seth right now. Nah, bro. And I just got word that um Cody Cody and Seth are going to be in the Grayson Waller effect uh for for next week at the Elimination Chamber. And I really hope they're probably going to do something of who's going to be on Cody's side once he faced Rome Roman at WrestleMania. But that's going to be for my peer peer predictions. Be on the lookout for that. But they they have so many options that they could bring to uh, to Cody's side to most likely help him beat Roman for this year's Re- WrestleMania. And but I'm not gonna lie, that ending part where The Rock put up the L, thinking that he was gonna put up the one, that that was funny. But I do re- I really do see, I definitely see somewhere down the line before after Elimination Chamber is passed. There, I know there's going to be some disagreements between The Rock and Roman, and most likely leading up to rain, uh, to the main event of WrestleMania for night two, where Cody, the ref, is knocked out, and most likely everybody got getting involved trying to help Cody win and most likely finish the story. And it's a situation where Rock and Roman are together, and Cody's by himself. And then next thing you know, boom, out of nowhere, The Rock come, betrays Roman out of nowhere. Cody takes advantage, and then next thing you know, one, two, three, Cody finishes the story and wins the championship and ending Roman's historic reign. And I think that's what they're going to do a buildup between The Rock and Roman, possibly for this year's some, summer, some, or most likely next year's rest, WrestleMania. But they have so many options that they could do with this. But. This was a really, really dope show. I'm not gonna gonna lie. Really looking forward to like what takes place next next week on the Go Home Show for SmackDown heading into Elimination Chamber. Cause this one is going to be even more in the in the road to WrestleMania. It just turned turned up real dang quick. But I'm really looking forward to like how Cody and Seth are gonna respond respond to this this Monday on Raw. Really looking forward to it. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of The Rock joining joining the bloodline in this sec- segment. I appreciate the time. I love y'all so much for showing love and support the channel. Real to 1K. And if you're new to the channel, run them, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for chilling with me. Real to 1K. Peace.